for when I'm traveling. I'm doing basically one item, um, my carry-on, and that's it. So my carry-on is basically just going to be this pink and brown bag. Um, I got this bag from Ulta. I love when Ulta does like these, these, um, these deals where they like you buy a perfume. So and here get, like, is another travel. outfit while I'm there. Um, I'm going for warm weather, so I've got shorts and a top. It's more of a um, like a silky kind of a top. It's a really light material, but it's really comfortable. Um, top is from Express, shorts are from Express, and then again the necklace again from AliExpress. So oh, here is another um, outfit choice. I was trying to um, see if this would be something that I would wear on my way to my destination, like on the plane and everything, but I always get so cold in the airport, and yeah, cardigan would be awesome, and but the thing is a skirt, like it's so short and I already know I'm going to be cold, so I'm not sure, this is a maybe for travel outfit, but yeah, there's another option. So here is most likely what I'm definitely going to wear to the airport, because it's like long pants, I love them, they're like MC Hammer pants, so awesome, I got them from Express, and um, I got the, the cami from Express as well and I also got the um oh my gosh the cardigan I'm sorry I just had a brain fart the cardigan I got that from Forever 21 and the necklace I got from AliExpress AliExpress is amazing if you want to buy jewelry um I got this necklace like a couple months ago it took about a month to get here but you only pay like a dollar for a necklace, which is amazing. And look how cute the necklace is. I love it. It gives me a very earthy vibe. Okay, so I got these jeans from Express. They are the Stella Low Rise jeans. Really comfortable. Um, they're the legging versions. The top I got from Express as well. And it's just a black um, lace material. It's not completely see-through as you can see, but right over here is a little lace and see-through. And then the kimono I got from AliExpress. And I usually, when I buy clothes from AliExpress, I get it in a like a large or an extra large because their small is like super duper tiny. So I wear a small and in order to shop there, I have to buy like extra large large. But this kimono, I love it. <laughs> love it to pieces. I think I paid like $6 for it. Oh, freaking amazing. I love it. And then the necklace again from AliExpress. yet Express. another outfit option. So we've got the same kimono with the cami and also the same shorts. And this is basically how I like to pack lightly. I basically use the same items and just rearrange them into different outfit styles and outfits all together. Here are the shoes that I'll be carrying with me as well. Um, I have a sandal which goes with basically all the outfits that I showed you. This one, I think I'm going to wear this to the airport. And here are my house shoes. I love fuzzy slippers at home. And also if I'm going to the gym, I have some sneakers or if we're going for a walk or something, I have sneakers for that. So I've got like shoes for basically anything that we can do or will do while we're there. Um, I also like to pack my shoes in a bag. I got this bag from, um, I think I got this bag from our pasta. So I'm just showing you how I like to pack my toothpaste. Um, it's the last thing I haven't done yet, so I'm just going to show you how I do it. And this is basically just an empty honey jar that I got when I was um, at a hotel. And um, I thought it was a great idea just to rinse it out and reuse it. So right now I'm just using it to store my toothpaste in. So I just squirt a bit of it out, and there you go. And that's more than enough toothpaste for the time of stay that I'm going for. So when I need to use it, I just dip my toothbrush in it, and that's how I use my toothpaste. So this is my facial wash that I put inside of here. It's really, really um, convenient because it's only one fluid ounce, and I haven't even filled it up, and this is more than enough for what I need for when I'm traveling. And also, like I said, I'm a Bath & Body Works junkie, so here's another one. Um, I just 
finished the body wash that was in here and I put my own body wash. This is exactly three fluid ounces. So this is travel size. And then here's another one. And this one is where I put my lotion inside of. And this is again more than enough for what I need. And I just travel with those items. So I got toothpaste, face wash, body wash, lotion. And then also this is my spray bottle. Um, usually what I do with my spray bottle is I empty it out. And then I get another one of these, put a little bit of conditioner in this, and I just travel with that. So this bottle is empty, there's nothing in there usually, and I just have all my conditioner in this little portion, and I just squirt it inside of there, and that's going to be my leave-in spray. So that's how I like to pack for my travel items. Um, if I find that there's more items that I want, I'll probably just find another one of these bottles because I have a bunch of them in the house because I am, again, a Bath & Body Works junkie. I can probably start my own store if I really wanted to, but that's like a whole nother story. <laughs> and last but not least, of course, I've got my makeup bag. So my makeup bag is like legit basic, basic, basic stuff. Um, here's my little carry bag that I have for it. I have a bunch of hair ties that I just pop in there. Um, I've got this scarf. The scarf, I like to use it for outfits as well, like an accessorize, to accessorize my outfits, and, or just wear it well, on my head. that was it. Also, I'd like to say thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate your views. Um, it encourages me to make more videos. I really, really, really would love to hear all of your comments about it. Like, what is the hardest item for you to pack inside of your suitcase? I always find that the hardest items for me would be like my electronics because I'm so scared that they're gonna break or something while they're inside of my bag because I, it gets shoved under the, the airplane seat and honestly I don't know how like secure the bag is that I'm traveling with because it's just like a little floppy little bag but I love it but yeah mine is my horror story would be like if something with my electronics broke and I, I don't like traveling with my laptop even though it would be a great idea to bring it because it's going to be a lot of footage that I need to go through and like um, edit and things of that nature but I don't like bringing my laptop so I don't think I'm bringing it on this trip but yeah let me know what is your <laughs> travel horror story about packing or even even just like anything in general yeah but anywho Again, I greatly appreciate your views and I appreciate your feedback. So please let me know, like comment and um, rate and subscribe to me so I can continue to give you more content. Right? Thank you so much again for viewing and have a great day. I'm going to North Carolina.